quite beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I'm going to be showing you, with this wallpaper scraper, how to renovate a cast iron fireplace that's 130 years old. Now I've started this fireplace, I was wondering whether to make a video. I've got the last part of the fireplace that's covered in paint. Now if you take a look at this, spin the camera around, most, this is the surround, most of these old fireplaces over the years they've been mistreated, you can see the paint all over the floor. I've used a little bit of, where do I put it, here it is, I've used a little bit of this paint and varnish stripper, picked that up from screw fix, but you know, it makes such a mess, the paint is sticky and it kind of gets stuck to your shoes and what I found the easiest thing to do is to grab all the scraper and just, there you go, just scrape it off. It's it's not the easiest job to do and it's taken me about a week. I'll be honest, it's taken me about a week to get this far. And when I say this far, I'll just show you the, the other bits that I've done. So you can see this, there's a little bit of brown paint on there. This is actually like a marble coated original surround, but I don't, well, to be honest with you, it's been so difficult to get it off that you can see I've, the scrapers just kind of like chipped away at it a little bit and it's, it's a little bit ruined. So I've got an answer to that. Well, you can also use a, a wire brush as well if you want, just give it a, bit of a rub but I find I find the wallpaper scraper much better here is the fireplace that I'm going to be putting in place and again the wallpaper scraper comes very much in handy you can see where I've scraped you can see the like you've got to get all these like knobbly bits off It's a bit of a job. I've been on this about, as I say, about a week. But it's a beautiful old fireplace. I want to get it working for Christmas. Um, but I've used this stuff, again, from Screwfix. It's not a sponsored video by Screwfix. It's just I got a Screwfix down the road and I picked everything up. This is their heat resistant spray paint, black. And it's important, when you've scraped everything off, Here's the, here's the lid of the, the mantelpiece, here, and this is the finished article. So once it's all been scraped off, lay it down and give it a spray, a nice even spray, don't use too much of it. You'll end up, it'll be running everywhere and dripping everywhere. But it's going in here. I've got to move all the Wi-Fi and everything else. We, we've opened the fireplace up years ago. We use it as a bit of a storage area. So I've got to chip back this, this hearth that I fitted. Um, but we're more or less there. We've had this fireplace open for years. So we've just got to remove that old wooden fireplace. And important to remove this plastic resin half that'll melt wi-fi boxes in the back there um this is the fire at the moment we got a woodwick <laughs> a woodwick candle in there um and and the wife's been quite sarcastic with me uh we've just done a lot we've done a lot of building work in the house um over the last few months let's quickly pan around we we've, we've knocked through look knocked through to make it a big kitchen diner and I had to box in all the plaster over the stairs. I've opened the staircase up as well. There was a wall there in, in March this year. So we've done lots. So there's a little bit of dust around the house at the moment. So anyway, getting back to it. Um, the next stage you'll see me now. I've cleaned up the... That... Well, you can see it up there. You can, I'll see if I can zoom in. There he is out there. We're going to go and clean that up now 
and I'll show you how to spray paint it with a heat resistant paint and then we got some heat resistant cement then we're gonna glue the fireplace together put it in place and that'll be the next stage okay so about three or four hours later I've not looked at the time I'm shattered I've put this one back together I've put some cement down the sides some of this fire cement just it was a little bit gappy down the side so I got a bit of that down the edge there to seal it so I'm gonna give it a quick dust down now very quick it doesn't have to be too well saying that I pr it probably does I've got spent hours cleaning it up it only takes a second to get any re residual dust off it there we go and then you grab all your spray can like so your heat resistant paint this one goes up to 600 degrees there you go I've scratched it this old marble I think it's only marble coated I don't think it's actual marble you can see that by the way it's scratched and you just what you do I'll go on the the hardest part just you know so I'm not copping out you just go across like so try and do it in a in a line one stroke I'm doing this whilst holding the camera so if it the camera comes off or off off cue if you like then it's because I'm trying to do it and there we are that's what it looks like so that'll dry back nice and careful I don't think I'd ever make, uh, what's his name, that guy, that graffiti buildings, Banksy, that's him, I don't think I'd ever make a Banksy. Cool. Be careful of the fumes as well, and they can get quite on top right what does that look like not bad so I've missed the sides so just quickly get the sides now but you get the you get the message you get the drift Last little bit and the police helicopter has come to join us to celebrate the the spraying of this fireplace. This has taken me a week. A whole week. Whew. Come on can, don't fail me now. I think I need to change hands. Anyway, I'm going to finish that up. Next stage, cementing it together and putting the actual hearth into the fireplace. Okay, so the next stage is to offer up the fireplace into position. Now, I've just laid some tiles. Have a look at the tiles. Some Victorian tiles. I did that about two hours ago. That I can walk on them. The, the, I put them in self-leveling. I've also raised the tiles so that when I eventually put a wood floor in, I'm hoping 
that the tiles are the same level as the wood floor but that's another job so of course this is a second hand fireplace here so what we need to do first is offer it up as you can see it's already and this is what I've done in the past it's already had some of the plaster hacked off the sides now what I think is going to need to happen but we'll have a look this is the only thing you can do is offer things up now I would suggest that you work with two people generally these things weigh an absolute ton but I'm on my own so I'm going to struggle on with this so but be careful with your back first and foremost these things weigh an absolute ton right just go nice and easy careful with the whatever floor in you put it in careful you don't scratch it have a breather if you need to I'm 42 now I'm not getting any younger and here we go so it's looking like now it's on the tiles look it's, it's working out rather nicely right look at that now then that you've got yourself a little idea now of where where this is gonna go so this is one of the I did this on the weekend actually I've been making putting this fireplace together and refurbishing everything for well you see me scraping off all of the the old paint off here and spraying it with paint heat resistant paint so I say uh, which is very important so what we do now is we're gonna just lift this This goes into here, that goes into there. Now then it looks like it's gonna wanna go back. Again, I've, I mean, I've never done one of these before. This is, so it needs to go right. So what we need to do is get this right back into position. So it looks like after we've offered this up, I wish I had a pencil on um, well, let's just get it in. Look at that. So I'm going to want to hack off now all of this plaster. Or do I? Or do I? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Can I get away with not hacking off the plaster? That would be nice. I can, I think. Yeah, that, that's looking. That is looking rather. That's looking okay. That is looking okay. The bottom of this needs to. The bottom of this needs to go back a little bit further so just as I say walk it walk it into position kind of get it that's not bad that's not bad so what I suggest you do now, I've got some of this fire cement. Get a tape measure, make sure your distances are suffice. Grab some of this tiling cement, or fire cement as I should call it, and, and just, I would seal everything up. I would seal everything up, gases and all these different things. You don't want smoke bellowing up the sides of your fireplace. So that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put fire cement all the way around the edges of this fire and then we'll have a look at fitting the surround 
Okay, so get yourself a flat blade. In this case, I can't find my scraper, so I've got a one of these little kitchen door replacement things. So when your kitchen door's hanging off, you can use one of these metal things. But anyway, I've been going round the side with this fire cement. It's very, it's very important you get this down inside to, to cover any gaps. As I said, you don't want any smokes and, and bad things entering your entering your room where you're living. So I'm going to go all the way around with this, all the way down the other side as well, just, just getting this. And I'm going to be doing this as well, not just, not just here on the main part of the fire, but I'm going to be doing it on the surround as well. So you kind of got a double whammy of, of protection. You don't have to be too, particular with the stuff because the surround's going to cover this part so you know it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy but get the stuff in there like so right there we are I've just done the top now I'm going to get the side the side's going to be a bit more difficult there's like a couple of inches of a gap down there I'm not sure I'm going to do that but um anyway uh, the next part now will be putting the surround, well the next time you see us we'll be putting the surround on round the, round the sides of the fireplace. So back in a moment. Okay, so um, what I've been doing now is, is getting ready to put the fire surround to the wall. So again, what we're looking to do is absolutely cake this stuff on, this, this fire cement. It's really important, not just for sticking the surround to the wall. I mean, that's, that's important because the things weigh an absolute ton but you, you're gonna want this stuff on and I can't emphasize this enough it's about keeping the nasties out of the out of your room so we're nearly there so we're gonna get this all the way down the side swapping hands if need be so it, it can always clean off your walls if you get too much of it on but at this stage these things weigh so much that I'd rather put too much of this fire cement on than too little and have gaps down the side so we're neat, very very nearly there now one more little quick scrape get that on there and now I'm going to grab hold of this like so it looks like there's a little good gap there there we go, I'm going to grab hold of this, maybe maybe give my hands a quick clean. Right, let's grab hold of this now, I've got wet hands now, here we go. This is what we spent a, a lot of the time on last week. What you could do as well, I suppose, if you could bring the camera around the side, is, I mean, this is damp old wallpaper. I'm just going to tear that across. Get rid of that wallpaper. Anything that, you know, could... I mean, nobody wants to talk about fires in houses, but anything that might catch fire, you want to you wanna get rid of that. So you can see because it's second hand you can see that there was a line where this fireplace used to sit or this fire surround so just kick it into position a little bit heartbreaking when you've spent all this time but it cleans off relatively quickly the main concern for the moment is making sure there's a seal I mean, look, look at this, look at this damp old house, look at this, all of the plasters coming off and... Right, anyway, 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 where are we with this concentrate now? Let's get this. Thinking I'd rather have the, the sides nice and tight. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. 
bottom. I'm gonna say get it tight round the sides. That looks that looks pretty level to me. So wet finger. Rub it up the side here. Just like that. There we go. And you can always I'll probably grab some of that spray paint. I'll probably grab some of that spray paint, fill some of these gaps up. Whoop! Here's one for when you get a bit older and bend over and do work. Right, so looking at this from the side, that's the one side. I'm going to continue on now, put the other side on, and then we'll put the lid on. Okay, so the next thing, we've got that other side on. Like so, we've got a bar to fit now. Now this bar again is to stop any... There we go, that just slides on there and glues down. And then that's gonna hold the actual main part of the fireplace together. Uh, we got a gap down the top of here. So we, we need to fill, get it flush. So there's, there's a gap, and with these old houses, you're going to have gaps. It's not going to be, you know, they, they, they didn't have levels back in the day. So what we need to do, oh, i got some bit too much cement there. So I can chuck that, i got it on my hands, I chuck it down in here type of thing. Scrape it down and I'll just carry on filling that gap there. So what you're looking to do, I'll say it one more time, fill as many of the gaps as possible. You don't want smoke, any unwanted smokes and gases entering your, your room. Okay, I'll carry on going along there and then we'll fit the actual, the actual top piece, okay? Okay, so we're sliding this piece into position. You can lay it back a bit if you need to, just to make life a little bit easier for yourself. Grab some of your cement, stick it down the sides here. Making sure again it goes right the way to the bottom. I bought two tubs. I bought two tubs of this cement. You'll probably need to. I've used quite a lot of it. Or, or they do it in a in a gun form. You can buy it where it kind of guns in, guns in. So now, what you're looking to do? my little helpful assistant there on her school holidays is bring it forward <coughs> as close as you can get your hands right there give it a good squeeze make sure it's sealed and then again clean off you can stick this on the top now because we're going to be fitting the top any minute now in fact we're going to keep rolling let's keep this camera rolling this time now, I will say at this stage, the lids, it's a, it's a second-hand fireplace. It wasn't built for this smaller fireplace for this particular house. But this fireplace comes from um, a house no more than... 400 yards away so it's a it's it was built in barry this old fireplace now again we're going to cake this on here because this is where your your lid is going to live on this part here making sure there you go we 
There we go. Getting it all on the top of there. Preferably on the back edge of. See, I'm not being fussy with this stuff. I'm really caking it on. But try and get it on the back edge so it doesn't spill out. You know. And then you're kind of cleaning up all the time. There we go. And one last little scoot. And I'm really interested because I've, I haven't, you know, I've not put this together. I've not put it in place. This is the first time. Just have a double check as well. Don't be frightened. Have a double check. If you think you've been a bit stingy somewhere with the with the fireplace cement then just whack some more on you can always clear off the residue you're not going to use this unless you find a need for it in the future so you might as well use as much as you possibly can now um give my hands a quick rub i'm going to grab this lid now this is probably one of the heaviest parts apart from that initial kind of big piece going in there but this is a right heavy part of this <coughs> fireplace so If you want to have a look in this direction, we're going to lift it, get it up on your chest, the world's strongest man and be proud of this, and then on we go, let's have a look, oh this is fitting, looks like it wants to rock forward, so Maybe I need to put some weights on the back just to weight this down with this. Ah, there we are. There we are, there we are. Right, you know, let's have a look at this. <laughs> Looks like it needs a little bit more cement under the front here, so. Also, while I'm here, grab the tape measure. And have a look. Right, that's four and a half inches that side. How's your luck? Oh, you're joking. Four and a half inches that side. Oh my goodness, that's never happened to me before. Normally I'm way out. Right. So I need a, a whack of this now. I need to lift this up and get it on the front end. It wants to, it doesn't want to sit level. Doesn't want to sit level. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do here? <clears throat> Pump more of the cement in and see. That's not bad. I tell you what, I'll do. I tell you what I'll do, I will just, you know if I had a brick, I'd put a brick on the back, make sure it was level. Or maybe just, maybe give the, maybe give the back a bit of a, can you do me a, oh I gotta look at this, everything's on hand, the old S-wing hammer, right. Okay, it looks like it doesn't want to sit level. I'll cut a prop, I'll cut a stick from there down to the floor, leave it overnight, see how we get on. Okay, quick follow-up video. First of all, thank you very much to my 10-year-old daughter who did her very best to film for me today. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Annabelle. Now, what I've done, I've propped the lid level and where the gaps were underneath, I've gummed it up with a load of fire cement. So when that sets, it's going to set into position all the way along, look, 
and again on this side it's going to set into position I'll leave this a day or two into position like this and then we'll remove the prop and the top lid of this mantelpiece will be in situ so a bit of cleaning up to do a little bit of filling down the side I need to finish off there look just go around double check everything make sure you're happy and then well is it a bit of filling looks like there's a little bit of filling down that side to do but generally it's not bad really that's the first time it's sat there it's not in a bad situation but it's huge that is absolutely huge I think it must have come it must have come out of a large house I'm trying to think around this area where this would have come from it's a massive fireplace thanks for watching put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews and our renovation reviews and cheers